This is another edition of Interop Makes You Smarter. I'm Father Robert Ballister from Gadget at the Techstop.net. It's the place where it's always time to get your geek on. We're at a super secret location in Northern California for Interop Hot Stage 2011. I'm sitting next to Mike Rydolch from Xeris, who is sort of the, well, uh, the god of wireless things at Interop. Mike, thank you very much for having a, a chance to talk thank to you. us. Now, we've got a topic today that is near and dear to a lot of geeks, and that is this idea of wireless spectrum. Well, you, you hear it in the news every once in a while about uh, a, a company wanting more spectrum or wireless companies wanting to open more spectrum. What exactly is this spectrum that they're speaking about? Now, the, the spectrum that they're speaking about is what allows us to use these wireless technologies. It is the medium that allows the 802.11 technologies, our cordless phones, uh, the various Zigbee type devices, that the spectrum is the medium that allows us to, to have these technologies and use them. And that is why the, the government and newer technologies are coming out. Coming out is because of the, the limit of our existing spectrum that all of these different devices are using and there's becoming more and more of these devices and that is why we need more spectrum and at different frequencies. Okay. So let's talk a little bit about this spectrum crunch. We've got the unlicensed spectrum in the 2.4 and the 5 gigahertz range that has really become a, well, a, a boom for technology. It's, it's the basis for Wi-Fi, it's the basis for a lot of cordless telephones and it's, it's what has allowed companies like yours to take a simple idea and just make it ubiquitous. But when you say that there's a spectrum crunch, what are you talking about? Well, as, as we continue to grow specifically for like Xeris wireless companies talking about 802.11 uh, technologies, there, as, as networks grow and you're starting to see wireless networks replace wired networks, right. we have a limited amount of spectrum to use in this space. Right, so it's, uh, it, it's one of these things where we've pretty much hit the cap on what we can do with the current spectrum that has been allowed to manufacture such as yourself. Yes. Not too long ago, there was a, uh, a powwow in DC. Uh, a bunch of smart people and some not so smart people were getting together and, and, and deciding whether or not to release more spectrum to unlicensed juice. What would that do for the industry? Well, it's, it's going to allow for example, in uh, K through 12, the use of, of wireless and in higher ed and enterprises, it's going to al allow wireless services to be scaled far beyond what they are today. I mean, we're starting to see HVAC automation systems take advantage of the 802.11 infrastructure, uh, paging systems, video system, video on demand systems. It's going to allow 802.11 uh, technologies and other technologies that you w use wireless to continue to expand and grow. We're getting to the point now that, as I said, it's becoming somewhat congested because the, the spectrum is, is limited and as there is more spectrum allocated, it will give us the opportunity to continue to grow this technology that is being very well accepted and is, I mean, we're a, we're a mobile uh, people now. People want to be on the move and wireless allows them to do that. It sounds like this is one of those things where you can't name all the places where more spectrum will allow for the industry to grow, but it's, it's definitely there. Yeah, the potential is there. Oh, if, yeah. if they release it, you will come. Oh yes, absolutely. It's yeah, to your point exactly, the old uh, adage of build it and they will come. If it is allocated, there will be <laughs> technologies that will use it and far beyond what we can do today. Yeah. Now, if they want to find out more about the spectrum problem, if they want to find out more about how you're dealing, your company is dealing with the spectrum problem, where should they go? Well, there's, you know, you can look at what the, the IEEE is working on, the FCC, what they're working on, watch the, what the Wi-Fi Alliance is working on. And those of you that are, you know, uh, proponents of wireless technologies, uh, when you have the opportunity, speak with your congressman, your, you know, your representatives in government to, uh, Edu help educate them on how it's being used in the environments that you're using so that as the government works on allowing and then uh, giving a spectrum to use, they're, they're educated and aware how it's being used. Because in a lot of cases, you know, they have those, these meetings, but they're not, they don't get the front line applications of how it's being used and, and, and why we're using it. Mike, thank you very much thank you for coming on. You stay tuned because we've got more Interrupt Makes You Smarter. I'm Father Robert. And there's no Uber geek without you. <laughs>